hey everyone so welcome back to another video today i'm going to uh, solve another sql questions for the cognizant intern and csd batches assessment or the qualifier exam i have already posted uh, many java questions and one sql questions previously also so there is a playlist uh, containing sql tutorials and there is another playlist containing java and sql questions for previous mock qualifier assessment and also this time mock qualifier assessments so you can check those uh, all the videos from those playlists and if you have not subscribed yet please do subscribe to the channel and uh, you will be getting all the informations all the questions and all the help you need all prior to all other subscribers or normal subscribers if you join my channel it's also you can get priority replies and priority uh, made video for your uh, queries also so let's move on to the video without delaying much so here is the schema or the database schema you can see from here so there are four tables basically that are linked so so you can see the first is like owners another is customers one is cars and the last one is rentals so these four tables are linked with one another so the owners is linked with cars the rentals is linked with customers and the cars and the rentals are linked in between so please ignore the background noise which is coming in the video so let's check the questions and we will be knowing how to solve these questions using these uh, schemas so from seeing the question or looking at the question we can easily understand that this is these are asking very few things to uh, show these are only asking two things which we need to uh, show or which we need to display but there is a trick like uh, how to calculate the thing or how to uh, select those things how to uh, filter those how to group the uh, queries among them that that are the main challenges by looking at the face. question we can see there is like uh, we need to display only the car name and the sum of the fair amount we need to display only these two things uh, but what are the conditions given the conditions are of all the cars that are picked and returned in the same month we need to find all the cars who have been picked and returned in the same month so how we will we will do that we will use the date uh, attribute and we will check if the month is same or not and another condition is given like if the total fair or that is the sum of of the total fare of all the cars like who have been uh, like all the, all the same cars who have been uh, returned and uh, picked in the same month if the sum is less than 20,000 only then we will show them okay so these two conditions are given but we will check these two conditions separately or different method we will use for checking these conditions we will see and what are the other things we need to do we need to give a alias name for the sum of the total amount and we need to sort it into ascending order now before going or solving into the questions we need to uh, check or learn two things first one is like you have to follow my sql playlist and learn all the basic things regarding the sql and date time is not there so anything regarding date time i will be uh, teaching you in the video only so here we also we will need one function as our prerequisite that is the month function let's check the definition and usage of month function so the month function uh, we will return the month that is uh, the part of the date okay so we will need to pass a date uh, in the month function and uh, it will check the month of the date and it will return the value of the month using a uh, 1 to 12 any number okay so suppose let's check an example so select a month of uh, 20 2017 25 okay so this is the date and the month we can see is uh, 8 that is the august month so if we run this query it will return 8 that is the month's value so this month function just returns the value of the month or the month value of the past date now let's see how to write the query so we will first write the select statement that is what we need to uh, show we need to show only two attributes first is the car name and the second one is the sum of the fair amount so we will use the sum aggregate function and we will uh, pass the fair amount uh, attribute uh, between the uh, sum function and we will uh, we need to give alias name that is total fair for this okay so we are uh, giving select car name and and sum of fair amount that is part of the rentals table so we will use r dot fair amount okay so sum of r dot fair amount and we will give a alias name that is the total fair for this sum of fair amount uh, value and then we will uh, pass it or we will uh, show them and 
but if you check the tables or the schema i have shown you earlier carefully you will see that both these columns are from or both these attributes are from different tables the card name is so we need to use the join function here if you know uh, my playlist if you have checked it then you know how to use join using join conditions so from uh, we are joining the cars and rentals table with the common attribute that is the foreign key using the join condition and using on attribute so we will check uh, the join condition by c dot car id equals to r dot uh, car id okay so it is the join condition and now the tables are joined and now we need to check the where condition or the condition given so we will need to check if the month of the pickup date and the return date is same or not okay so the we will check where the month of uh, pickup date and month of return date we will use the month function i have already explained you the how how the month function works so we will check the month value of both pickup date and return date and if it is same or not okay but what if the same car has been rented twice or thrice in a month okay so if the car name is same then we need to add them or you need to group them okay we need to add that uh, fair amount that particular car got because we need to uh, show the car names and the sum of the fair amount that particular car got so for that we need to use the group by function for uh, grouping the rows okay so we need to group the rows using the, uh, by car name we need to group the rows by car name and then we need to check if uh, their total fair amount of those particular uh, rows with similar car name which have been rented and returned in the same month for those if the total fare is less than 20,000 or not so we will use having uh, keyword here okay you have already uh, learned the use of having and group by if you have followed my SQL playlist if you have not I will suggest just go and follow it it will take hardly 30 minutes or one hour in 2x speed so go and follow and learn it so how we are uh, checking this we will use the having keyword and check the total fair amount and then we will use the order by keyword for like arranging it uh, using the total fair amount and as it is uh, going to be for ascending this is, this is by default ascending okay so let's check the flow of the solution so the first thing we are going to do here is to check uh, the joining condition and join the two tables okay so obviously first we will write the select uh, the table uh, attribute names which we need to show and then we are doing to going to join the tables and then what we are doing after joining those tables we will need to check the same month condition because that is going to be checked on single rows or individual rows after that we need to group those because uh, we need to group those according to car name because it is asked for us like we need to show the car name and check if that for the particular car if the fair amount is less than 20,000 or not okay so for if the car is rented twice thrice or more than once uh, that for that reason we need to group by uh, the rows uh, using with similar car name or same car name we need to group by them and then we will uh, calculate the fair amount we will calculate the total fair amount and then we will check the total fair condition that is uh, the total fair should be less than 20,000 for this check we are using the having okay for the first check we were using where and now for this check we are using having because for single row or individual rows we use where uh, clause for condition checking and for a group by after using group by for a we need to use the having for more than one number of ropes, rows grouped together okay and uh, there are three uh, points I will uh, like to share as well that is we are using the order by we are not giving any as uh, word keyword for ascending or descending because order by function works by default as ascending and the join condition is given uh, using the on keyword that is the c dot car id equals to r dot car id and we are using the group by function for c dot car name why we are using group by here in case there are multiple records with the similar card name for that okay so if there are similar uh, uh, car records with uh, multiple records with similar car name or we are using group by then we need to use the having keyword for checking conditions